book the short in the future really talk about coming of age and um and black elite culture doing a cotillion ball and so the main character of the film celeste grapples with her queer identity and purity while in the environment of the cotillion ball that's very religious heteronormative um and can be difficult um but it's also a, a very beautiful tradition, and so she's kind of grappling with, you know, these two different worlds um, and trying to find herself within the world that seems um, pretty stifling at times. In a lot of your films, they center around the Black experience, the LGBTQ plus experience, and the intersections of that. So uh, why those subjects? Why does that resonate with you? Yeah, I really like to think that I, I write what I know, and I like to also write kind of for the younger version of myself and for other people out there that I think um, could use more empathy, more compassion towards identities, especially marginalized ones. Taking it back to the beginning, how did you get into film? Yeah, um, so when I was in middle school, <laughs> I went to a very small um, Christian school and everyone in my class, um, we were all given a little flip camera and um, and we all worked on Mac computers that had iMovie. And I really just started playing around with the technology when I was really young. And when I was in high school, that was the spark of Black Lives Matter. And so I, I would often um, go into DC with my little camcorder and, 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 and record whatever I saw around me. Um, I went to different protests and just documented them and realized how powerful it was to be able to use film to convey those kinds of messages. And so um, I really did many documentaries when I was all throughout high school.